Hey guys, finally got around to uh, bolting it up to give you a preview of what it's going to look like. Uh, I got a V5 charger here. Uh, it's a little cold out to really be doing much right now. I'll just wait until tomorrow for it to be 60 degrees because of Ohio weather. Um, <laughs> uh, right now I'm waiting on the header. Uh, I got it uh, to a shop that a buddy of mine works at and he's getting stuff done to it. It's a rip long tube header as well. Uh, I had to get another bung welded in for the new wide band that I got. I'm going from glow shift to AEM because I'm tired of buying cheap shit. And this is just a, a quick video. I took a bunch of pics as well. But I think it looks great. It's gonna it's gonna turn out really well. A lot of stuff missing right now. Can't wait to add in the intercooler over there. Uh, water to air intercooler. Gretti Type S blow off valve. Uh, I've got a upgraded Omni three bar map sensor. It's gonna go there. Uh, I don't know quite yet exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, I know the bracket that originally goes here. Actually, I got it up here. I might post it for sale. Uh, everything's powder coated, candy apple red. Uh, this is the bracket that originally held the O2 sensors, and they, they just bolt down right here. Also, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping that block off plate quite yet. I'll sell that as well if I don't need it, because uh, I've got a return line for the blow off valve. Actually, I have two of them. I don't know if I'm going to sell that too, but if not, that bracket and that uh, block off plate will be for sale. They're both powder coated, just like my valve cover. Candy apple red. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Really excited. The other car is sitting over there. Still can't figure out what's wrong with it. I put everything back to stock. Now I'm having some pretty bad uh, voltage issues. I changed the battery. I changed the alternator. Don't know exactly what's going on, but every time I put load on the battery, it wants to die. It's also, um, it was throwing a misfire code. And it's running really lean. I changed the spark plugs, misfire code went away. And, uh, what else was I doing? Um, oh, you know what? I think it's because it had boost for so long. I have to change the intake manifold gasket. That's my next step. But I got, I mean, everything that, if you guys have watched my previous videos, everything's back to stock pretty much. Except that oil catch can. I even managed to find my intake manifold resonator that came off the black car and I put that back on there as well. The TN coils are finally on. I'm glad to uh, say we're making some kind of progress. Uh, I'm done with this car other than putting the factory struts back on that I've managed to piece together from different 4G's so you can see my different colored springs down there. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a big improvement. I was really excited to get those on. It only took all winter because of my laziness, procrastinating, and uh, whatever else you might want to add to it. But yeah, the, the rear tires are back on the ground, as you can see. Team, it's a GLR. Um, yeah, but I, I've got a lot of cleaning to do. As you can see down here, uh, I'm gonna get all that cleaned up. <laughs> Good thing you can't see my valves because they're terrible. <sighs> can't wait to hit that with some carb cleaner. Um, I don't remember what else I was gonna post for sale. I had a couple of things that I was going through. Uh, oh, because of the the wide band that I mentioned earlier, I'm also gonna have uh, uh, my glow shift wideband air fuel ratio gauge data logging box o2 sensor the bosch o2 sensors only i don't know it doesn't even have 500 miles on it but everything will be sale i'll include that i'll include that and uh yeah so stay tuned more to come is the intercooler 
it's going to go right there, the water to air intercooler. Also the Grediet Type S blow-off valve and the heat exchanger that will go down here. I gotta get the bumper off still. All the stuff sitting in a box right there. And the water tank that's gonna go in the back. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it above the rear cargo mat or below it, because I'm gonna take the spare tire out. And then there's all the hose. And there's the blow-off valve down there. A lot to do. But I want to keep this video under six minutes because I already ran over five. So if you guys have any questions, that's what the supercharger looks like connected to my motor. Sweet. Thanks, guys.